Yo, what is happening everybody? Magnification today I'm here guys with Ruby Volume 8 Chapter 4. Pretty excited for this chapter. I guess we're gonna focus quite a bit on um, Yang's group. Maybe through the whole chapter that would be good. Last chapter was entirely focused on Ruby's uh, group. Ruby Wise May, which by the way, I didn't know the name or even uh, the gender of that character last time because... Yeah, I basically binged the shit out of E7, so a lot of the names I kind of didn't get at all. But now after watching a couple of reactions, yeah, I definitely got a lot of names, so I know that that's May now. And uh, yeah, May, Wise, Ruby, Penny, which is now going towards Amity, I believe. And um, Blake, of course, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And Nora, right? That got fucked up last time, I hope she's okay but yeah uh the chapter was completely focused on them so we would be cool if we got a, a complete focus on yang's team now um i feel like we may get something else other than that but we will see should be interesting the thumbnail is yang and then yeah i think it's pretty much obvious that uh oscar is going to be taken to salem right and um yeah i'm interested to see what comes out of that the fucking talking grim. By the way, I know now that he's called the Hound. Uh, something I didn't know neither, but I think it was in the credits, right? So yeah, I shall refer to him as the Hound for now. Pretty fucking scary Graham. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm excited to see what's up with that. So without further ado, guys, I think I'm just going to jump straight into chapter 4 of the 8th fall. It is a 19 minute long chapter, so a bit uh, longer than the previous one. Yeah, let's get into it, guys. Let's go. All right, everyone. So I'm gonna start this in three, two, one, and now let's fucking go, guys. This chapter, I think, it has the potential of being the best chapter because if we we get um, Oscar slash Ospin with Salem, you know, an interaction with them, this would be so fucking good. And we are probably gonna have that, unless they cuck us with a cliffhanger. A cool thing here in the OP are the wings, right, on Salem. They are, I think, pretty much the same wings uh, from the Hound, which is an interesting thing to note as well. Some roses. So epic. We'll never ever die. In peace. Some heroes choose the wrong side. <laughs> Dude, this OP definitely gets me pumped for some ruby. Let's fucking go. The uh, fuck? <laughs> you should have seen the look on Joanna's face. I don't think she'd ever lost a fight before that. Huh. At least, not fair and square. Okay. Talking to a crow? Fucking fly. Tough crowd tonight. <laughs> Guess Ironwood should have paid for better cell block entertainment. Well. And she smiles. Did I win? Hey, it's your game. I don't make the rules. Nice, nice. <laughs> I'm sorry for what happened. It wasn't your fault. It was though. Oh <sighs> yeah, partially it was. The darkness. What the fuck? Clover wouldn't let up. Could have worked together against Tyrion and Yeah, just... yeah. But the thing that really stings. Well, for the first time in a while, I thought maybe, maybe I could be around somebody. Wow. Without my semblance making it. Poor guy. Complicated. And now, 
it just feels like a childish dream. Whew. Gone. Like everybody else. Wow, I like this focus on Believe Crow. Not, I know a little what that's like. Opening up the chapter with that. Good shit. Out their secrets, they tend to push you away. Hmm. It makes a real connection. Interesting. Difficult. Yeah, I can see that. I never thought oh, he's back. Okay. Okay. So they just used him and <laughs> You don't get to keep that. Mm. I didn't kill him. You keep saying that. But it was your weapon covered wow. in his blood. If you really want to know what happened, you Mohawk, why not open the cell? Mohawk, wow. Well. <laughs> uh, if I open the cell, it won't be to shake hands. Bruh. Yeah, because you don't care about the truth. Nice. You just want someone to be mad at. Nice, Robin. <laughs> easier than taking an honest look at what side you're on. Wow. She's doing it? She's doing it? What are you doing? She considered it for a second. Yeah. Nothing. Interesting. I like Harriet. She's my favorite. Uh, now that Clover's gone, Clover was my favorite well, from the Aesops. That was almost exciting. Oh, <laughs> uh, nice, nice. Really interesting. Now back here, they are chasing after the hound. Let's go. Damn. I'm really wishing one of us could fly right now. Wow. Wait. Hold on. Wow. He has an idea? I'm going to get you up there. How? Oh, oh, cool, cool. Oh shit, he got him. Nice. Damn, all right. Let's see it. I still think okay. they are not going to succeed in stopping the hound, but who knows? <laughs> yeah. This is good. This is a good start to the the chapter. I like it. Good uh scar here. By Steve. Oh, <laughs> nice yang. Oh shit! The fuck? Oh yeah! Oh oh! It called more Graham? What the fuck? Okay. Yeah 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 yeah. Let's go. Zesty. Damn, that's a lot of Graham. At first, I thought like it was trying to shake things up, like shake the the mountain up or something. No, it was straight up just calling for more grim. Damn, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, dude, let's go, Sean. Wow, nice, nice, Not <laughs> nice, Yang. Just grabbed him. <laughs> Dude, this is good. Holy fuck! Nice, nice usage of the the portable shield. Using it as a, as a ramp for the motorcycle. Shit. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. That's the end of the line. Um. Oh, oh. Dude! Nice, Ren! Oh! Shit, he used his semblance. Okay. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Be careful, man. Ren is one of my top picks for characters to die in this uh, volume, so yeah. That was... Oh, shit! Oh, shit, oh, shit! With me! Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Things are already bad enough after what you did to father. Damn. Now you want us to harbor fugitives too? Our family has a reputation. Wow. That's what you're worried about? Yeah. Your reputation. Mento's about to fucking die. Already lost all the house staff, 
and Mother locked herself in her room. Maybe you haven't figured out what's going on, Whitley, but we're busy trying to save Atlas. Look, yeah. our friend is hurt. We just need a place to lay low while she rests, and then we'll be out of your way. Fine. Okay. What do you expect me to do then? Huh. Go to your room. Wow. Yeah, that's that's bad heat. This way. Something tells me he's not gonna want to just Maybe. stay on his room. I hope everyone's doing all right. If you're worried about Yang, you could always try calling her. That's the thing. I did. Wow. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I repeat, if anybody can hear me. Damn. We need transport back to Mantle. They are stuck here. In the middle of nowhere. We need to get out of this weather before the cold drops our ores completely. That's bad, that's bad. How much farther to the outpost? Ren? Ren, how much I don't know. Damn. Just going. Ah, don't die, man. Don't die. I did. I'm scared. I cut myself loose to help you guys. Yeah, you've brought that up a couple times now. Something you need to <laughs> well, say? Well, not really. Wouldn't want to waste any more time. Hey, what is your deal? Don't worry about it. Well, I'm sorry things aren't going smoothly enough for you. Well, Guys. they're not going smoothly at all. I hate to break it to you, but that's part of being a huntsman. Are you kidding? We don't know the first thing about being huntsmen. Damn, we yeah. We weren't ready. Guys, stop it. Were we not ready when we saved Haven? When we took down a Leviathan? We got the lamp to Atlas. And then we lost it. And after that, when we had to wow. make real decisions... Yeah, he has a point. One wrong. I'm not going to pretend like we did everything perfectly. But if we'd done nothing, things would be even worse than they are now. How could they possibly be worse? We are stuck out here while Salem has the lamp and Oscar. We've got yeah. no plan, no army. We've got the maiden. And by keeping her from opening the vault for Ironwood, we're just trapping the whole city for Salem. People are going to die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because of us. So what? We should just give Ironwood what he wants? No. Abandon Mantle? You think Atlas is still going to be able to float to safety now that she's here? I don't know. But these aren't the kinds of decisions we should be making because we have no idea what we're doing. Okay. Oh, wow. Cut it out. I'm just saying what nobody Interesting. Else wants to. We're in way over our heads. Ruby is barely more than a kid. I'm just an orphan from the middle of nowhere. Ren, I you am... cheated your way into bacon. Wow. <laughs> Damn, bringing that up, oh, huh? Should be Huntsman. Fine. But I'm getting out of the cold. Okay. Still got a job to do. Seriously, is your goal just to push everyone away? Bruh, 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 bruh. Oscar, that was crazy. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Be okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! Are we here? Are we here? Say, oh, oh! Ozma. Found at last. That camera angle was so good. This new host of yours. It's a wonder my hound didn't break you. It's been how many years since we saw each other face to face? And nothing to say. Dad! I'm sorry the reunion isn't living up to your expectations. <laughs> She just you grabs it, boy. dude. But you're not fully him. Oh yeah, yeah. This is Oscar talking. Okay, I guess. Well, dude. I can have a better working relationship. Okay. Oscar, was it? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? My forces have been unable to locate the relic beneath the school. Yeah. If I know my Ozma. He has used some means of deception to hide its location differently than the others. Yep. I need to know where it is. Use the lamp and ask for That's it. That's not something I know about. Of course. You would keep that one guarded as long as possible. How about something easier then? Yeah, the lamp. The password. How to use it? Yeah. 
Nope. All out of questions. Nope. That's a lie. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! What is she doing? <laughs> One of you is going to tell me what you know. I don't much care if it is you or Ozma. Either way, torture. I may have the relic, dude. I won't tell you anything. Okay then, we shall see about that. Hazel. Oh shit, Hazel. Wait. Wait. <laughs> that was for Haven Academy. Damn. Oof. Everything that follows will be for my sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's gonna be the torturer, basically. He's just gonna fucking kick his ass over and over again. Your grace, I until he gives in. Is that <laughs> an experiment? Oh, an experiment. Interesting. So far, I am pleased with the results. Did you need something, Cinder? Okay. Yes, I. I want to search for the Winter Maiden. I think... Do you hear that, my pet? She <laughs> thinks. She wants. Wow. As if she's done something that warrants me caring <laughs> about either of those things. <laughs> Dude, say that! just sitting and waiting. Without the Maiden power, the vault means nothing. Let me claim it for you. I will tell you when and where you are needed. <laughs> but your grace... <laughs> I'd like to think I have shown a great deal of patience over my many years walking remnant. Bruh. But I do hate repeating myself. Oh shit! You will remain here. Nice, I like this. Is that I fucking like this. Yes. This is interesting. Of because this may lead to Cinder Yeah. Doing stuff on Salem's back? Maybe. I don't even know, but this is gonna be interesting. I know what she said. I just want to check on something. Okay. Before anyone okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Check on something. Check I on what? See if anything is still going on at Amity Coliseum. Salem doesn't know those children like I do. Nice, Neil. <laughs> that was cool. Misguided attempt to save the world. If she doesn't want to, I'll come. Oh! I've okay. been working on my semblance. I can help. I won't tell anybody. Emerald. How much did you overhear? Wow. Okay, damn. Man, oh man. They found a You're place, right. good. I, I did cheat my way into Beacon. Yeah. Glad I had people around me to help me see that I was bigger than that mistake. You've got people around you too. You don't have to force yourself to be strong. Hmm. The more you hide from what you're feeling, the more alone you're going to feel. Wow. Trust me. Yeah. He doesn't even say anything, just goes outside. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Cares. I found a part to fix the bike. So, yay! Good news. Damn. For what it's worth, I'm sorry he said that to you. I know you've had to work hard to get here, Jean. We're all under a lot of stress right now. Definitely. Just push people away too. Cool, cool. Think she thinks less of me for not helping out with Amity. Ruby is your sister. She's always going to love you, even if you disagree with each other. Yeah. Ruby. Oh. <laughs> she wasn't talking about Ruby. Sleep, but I can't stop thinking about Oscar. Go on. I'll make sure Ren doesn't brood himself to death out in the cold. Okay. Thanks. I just have a bad feeling. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. Always seem to get worse before they get better. Me too, man. I have a bad fucking feel. Where are we going now? Uh What? The ground is breaking. Wow, okay. I guess there's something down there. Maybe a Grim? I don't even know. But this is gonna be interesting. So, okay. The hound is a experiment. It's a pet. Chikaze. It's an experiment. So, it's something new. Hold on. I'm confused a bit. Because I thought this Grim is so intelligent that it must be, uh... It must be an old Grim, right? But it doesn't feel like it. It feels like something new that she, she like she said, she's experimenting on. But like I said before, if she was always able to make something like this, why did she wait until now? Why didn't she make something like this before? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, you know. But okay guys, that was Ruby, uh, Volume 8, Chapter 4. I think this may be my favorite chapter so far in, in V8. It was a pretty fucking good chapter. I'm scared. I was thinking, like, at the end there, when we saw Ren outside and we started moving down, I was thinking, like, we were gonna see basically Cinder appear there at the end. You know, since she's coming. But that, that wasn't it. I don't even know what the fuck it is. Maybe it's gonna be a, a Grim that we're gonna have to face. Right? But yeah, that was really interesting. We open up the, the chapter with uh, that dialogue. Uh, between Crow and Robin was really interesting. Robin, uh, she said that she is kind of like Crow in a way, right? That her semblance gets in the way of things. Because when people know about her semblance, they kind of don't want to be around her. Because, yeah, she can know if you're lying or not. So, you know, that kind of pushes people away as well. And that was that was interesting. That was really good. Great way to kick off the the chapter. And I like that this chapter, even though it was mainly focused on Yang's group with John and everyone else, um, not only was it focused on that, but we also get some scenes here and there with um, you know, fucking Ruby's group and um, Salem. You know, good fucking shit. Uh, so, dude, like I said, I really like Whitley. I think he has a lot of potential. I really hope they don't just throw that potential away. By telling him to stay on his room and that's it, you know? No, I really, really hope he does something interesting and his character, like, goes to an interesting direction, not just, like, staying on his room, you know? As, uh, Wise told him to do. I'm really excited to see where, uh, that goes and, yeah, I have hopes. I have high hopes. I hope they don't disappoint me, you know, with that. But, yeah, interested to see more from that, hopefully in the next, uh, chapter. Um, yeah. Also, Watts is back on his cell, so I don't know. I was thinking he was gonna like do some shit to take control over Penny, but I think I don't know. We'll maybe Ironwood won't let him do that because yeah, he would have to do some crazy shit to be able to do that without, uh, you know, them noticing, right? So yeah, that was pretty interesting, you know. And uh, the dialogue with Robin and Harriet too was fucking good. She almost gave in and entered inside the the cell. I think she's gonna be the first one, right? Like we are building up to that. I feel like she's gonna be the first one to betray the Aesops and like, you know, maybe not literally betray them, but you know, start to sway to our side little by little. Um, at least it feels like that. Anyways, the the chase scene with the motorcycles and the uh, the hound was really good as well. That OST that was playing there, pretty good shit. Um. Ren, at the end of the day, gave up chasing after uh, the Hound to help his friends. So, you know, he's he's really moody right now. But at the end of the day, he still cares about his friends, of course. He's gonna uh, help them. But, yeah, it's it's pretty sus. He, he's going through some stuff right now. And uh, I'm scared he may die. I think he's, like I said, my number one pick. Before it was Nora. Uh, but after what we got with Nora last time, you guys already know. I talked about that in my reaction to Chapter 3. Uh, Nora, she was talking about what would she even be without Ren and all that stuff. You know, I feel like that's building up to whenever she actually is without Ren, right? He dies and she has to go on without him. That's going to be fucking sad, but I feel like that's going to be the case. It could also be Nora, though. I can definitely see that. But yeah, I'm thinking all the stuff we're getting with Ren, I'm thinking he's going to be the one that's going to bite it. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that scene with fucking Oscar and... Uh, 
and Salem was so good. I loved how the camera moved from uh, him looking down to, you know, he started looking up and he saw her. That was so good. So well done, you know, uh, that shot of Salem in the dark um, with the fucking dark cloud. I don't know what the fuck that was, you know, so fucking creepy. Dude, that whole scene was crazy. I don't know what the fuck she did. She did some magic shit on him just to hurt him, but not kill him, I guess. Right. And yeah, I think Hazel is just going to fuck him up, basically, trying to make him spill the beans. I don't think he's going to do it, of course, but this should be interesting. Cinder is going to do some shit on her own. Neo is kind of like, dude, don't do that. So she's not, she, she doesn't like that idea and she's not going, I think, right? Emerald offers to go instead. But yeah, this is interesting. Cinder, I'm excited to see where her character is going uh, after this, after betraying Salem. This is going to be crazy. Um, I feel like, dude, I'm scared for Emerald too, now that I think about it, right? Emerald is, is really devoted to Cinder and she's helping her here. That may lead to her dying or some shit like that. That would be crazy. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know where this is going, but I'm really fucking excited to see where it goes. You know, this whole Cinder thing that they are doing here. The volume started with Cinder's backstory. So, yeah, this tells me that this volume, Cinder is going to do some big shit. In the OP, she has the stop time, which. Uh, may be related to Jin and the lamp, right? That's what they make it feel like it is the case. And everything is stopped apart from Cinder. And then later on, uh, Emerald as well. So, you know, she may end up asking the question. She may she may do some crazy shit this, this volume. So I'm fucking hyped. You know, and Salem is going to be really mad at her for that. She's going to be like, what the fuck? My prediction is that Salem will be the one to kill Cinder. I don't know when though. It's gonna happen eventually. I don't know when. It's gonna be because Cinder is gonna get too um, greedy, right? Like she said, she has hunger. She said that in the last volume, right? She hungers for power, right? And uh, yeah, that hunger is gonna be what's gonna end up killing her eventually. I'm so fucking hyped. I'm so fucking hyped to see where this storyline is gonna go. But yeah, good shit. I'm so hyped for the next chapter because I think unless we go uh, full on Ruby team again, you know, I guess we're going to get to see what the fuck is down there on the ground. But maybe they're going to keep this a mystery for a while and, you know, we're only going to see it in chapter six or whatever. But yeah, anyways, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, comment down below what you thought, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos, join Discord, link is in the description, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching and peace.